Well, here she is. Uh, that's two meter, uh, well, 72 inch right now. Test bed for a new VTPR plane I'm trying to develop and uh, have fun with. Just got it done tonight and uh, she's all ready to go. Um, it's got a near fully symmetrical wing on it. Uh, it's got a nine inch root and uh, seven and a half inch tips. Two inch full span ailerons. Nice, big, and fat. Lots of movement, too. Um, rudder, elevator, full house. That's a nice movement there. There's your elevator. Probably too much right now, but I've got I've got the maxes in. On this plane, I decided to go with 4.8 volt because I'm looking for smoother, lower and slower, smoother movements out of a plane, and I don't really need that fast acting deal. So I've learned enough now to where I think 4.8 is just fine, uh, especially with the size of these uh, flight controls. Um, it's all wood. It's all uh, it's all what I really like. Um, it's going to have to be flown a little bit more careful, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, it was fun to build. And um, so I wanted to try the mid wing deal on the fuse, see if that straightens it out a little bit more. I uh, lengthened the nose about four inches from a, an old uh, gigolo fuselage that we had. It was in really great shape, so beefed it up a little bit and uh, lengthened it. Four inches got about a 12 inch um, nose moment on it. Beefed up the rear feathers, got taller, uh, more area, squared it off a little bit, and gave it a little bit of style. But uh, right now it's at 40, I think 41 ounces, so it's about 9.7 uh, ounce wing loading. I wanted to get it down to about eight, eight and a half, but it just it just didn't work out. Um, anyway, for another day. So here's all the movements. Snap flaps. Got to have those. Next in the elevator. Let's show you the other side. I think we'll be able to see that in the air pretty good. I like the two stripe deal. I saw um, a vector out of the uh, site, the two stripe um, bottom, and I really liked it. It seemed a little bit more cleaner to me. And uh, mounted the servos, uh, 85 uh, MGs, right onto the plate. And I, if you notice, I didn't clean the plate up to the bottom surface, and for a reason. Uh, one drag. I don't care about drag so much in this plane. It's going to be flied slow and not really an issue. And this, I use 30 uh, second plywood. Glued them right on the back. Real easy for maintenance. Um, fiberglass horns. Large front servo arms. Traditional plastic push rods in the back. Real robust, lasts a long time. CG is uh, five and eight from the trailing edge on a nine inch root. It's a little bit, uh, I like them touchy. So, uh, but I put a little extra nose weight when I do the maiden. Anyway, that's it. That's, that's called the Super Jig. 
and uh, this is going to hopefully move us on to an 80 incher, a little bit more composite plane. So hopefully you have a video for you soon. Alright guys, talk to you later.